Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Vita Liberata 10 Minute Tan. Um, I'm going to be giving you my final rating of this product at the end of the video and how it stacks up to all other self tanners. Um, so make sure to stay tuned to the end to hear that. Um, this product is $39. So it's a 5 ounce bottle, so that works out to $7.70 per ounce, which is definitely more expensive than your average self tanner, and I think it's too much for this product. Um, it comes out as a very, very thick um, caramel colored lotion. It's very sticky feeling, one of the thickest lotions out there I've tried. I squirted some on this tissue to show you guys because I don't want to get it on my hands. That's what it looks like. It's not going anywhere. It's so thick. I actually kind of did a little experiment too. I squirted some on a plate in my bathroom and I left it there for a day and it still hadn't dried at all um, the next day. I left it there for over a day. So that's how thick and sticky this one is. Um, the smell, it smells really bad. It smells like old school self tanner smell when they just smelled like pure DHA. That's what this one smells like. Um, I think they think because you only need to leave it on your skin for 10 to 20 minutes, maybe they thought they could make it not smell good, but I'd rather it smell good than bad, and it smells really bad. Um, the application, so it took a long time to blend in just because of how sticky the product is. It's kind of like trying to rub glue or caramel all over your body. It took quite a long time to rub in, and the mitt kept getting caught on it because it was so thick. I, it was just annoying to apply. Um, the, the Karma Color does act like a light guide on your skin so you can see where you're putting it. <clears throat> the drying time. So this product you only need to leave on your skin anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes which is nice. Um, but the entire 20 minutes I had it on my skin felt really tacky, really sticky, pretty uncomfortable feeling. Um, so the results. This, this is, product is a little different. It sounds awesome. I love the idea of only have, having to leave a self tanner on your skin for 10 minutes, but for this, it just didn't work for me. I left it on for 20 minutes because they say you can leave it on up to 20 minutes to darken your tan. I wanted to see how dark I could get my tan. So you leave it on 10 to 20 minutes, then you shower it off, pat your skin dry, and then your tan will develop in four to six hours, it says. Um, so I went to bed after I showered it off. The next morning I woke up with no tan at all. I actually forgot that I used a cell tanner until I saw this sitting by my sink. Um, and my tan was just so light, it was, there was literally no difference. I was still my pasty pale self. Um, I read this a lot online um, in reviews that people had the same experience. I wanted to make sure it just wasn't me, but it happens a lot. It seems like the only people this might work for are extremely fair skinned. And even in that case, I saw that it only got them about a shade darker. Um, so I was really disappointed in the results. I wanted to see some tan at least. Now they don't claim it'll give you a dark tan, but they claim it'll give you a medium tan, and that was definitely false. I got zero tan at all. Um, so for me it was just a nuisance to apply it, rub it in and stuff, and then get no tan. I don't think many people who buy it will be happy with no tan. It, as far as how long it lasted, I can't really say because I didn't have a tan. If you are one of the ones to get a light tan from this, it'll probably only last like a day because it's so light. Men, I don't think you'll like this one. It doesn't give you a tan, it smells bad, it's really sticky. Um, so that brings me to my overall rating of it. I gave it a one out of five stars. I really, really didn't care for it. I was really excited because it's kind of a groundbreaking product, but it just doesn't work. I don't think the DHA has enough time to penetrate your skin cells with just being on your skin for 10 to 20 minutes. That's just my opinion. I don't really know the science behind it, but it just didn't work for me. So, I want to know if you guys have tried it, did you have the same experience as me, or did it work for you, um, or if you have a specific self tanner in mind you want me to try, make sure to comment below because I'll definitely try that for you. Um, but for more information on this self tanner and many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.